Hi writers! You're looking at a screen with four different photographs. In each photograph there is a road sign. I want you to think about if you have seen at least one of these ever while you've been riding. I know you're not driving yet, but you ride with drivers. So I just want you to think if you've seen any of these signs before. And then I want you to think about what is it that drivers are supposed to do? I know it doesn't always happen, but what are drivers supposed to do when they come to these signs? So up in the top left is a stop sign. So if I were driving and I came to that stop sign, I would stop. And the reason I'm stopping is because there's a road in front of me and there could be a car. And if I don't stop, I'm going to crash into the car. I could wreck my car. I could hurt myself. I could hurt others. So there are signs on every street, every road, and those signs are telling the driver what it is that they are supposed to be doing. And it's helping to keep people safe in their cars. You might be thinking, why are we talking about road signs? I want you to think about how punctuation and road signs are similar. Road signs are telling the driver what to do. Punctuation marks are going to be telling the reader what to do. Punctuation tells the reader where to pause, breathe, raise their voice, change their voice. The punctuation marks are powerful and they shouldn't be ignored. When I look at this piece, this is from Punctuation Takes a Vacation. This is where the writer left out the punctuation. So for myself as a reader, I don't have any road signs. I don't have any signs telling me where to pause, where is the end of the thought, where's the next thought. So this is what it sounds like for a reader to read when there is no punctuation. Here we go. This is weird, the punctuation is missing. Uh-oh, where could it be? Yikes, maybe punctuation took a vacation. We are in big trouble now. So when I just read that without any punctuation, I might have sounded a little bit like a robot. Without any punctuation, I didn't know how my voice was supposed to go, where I was supposed to pause. So on this chart in front of you, it's an example of some of the punctuation marks that we use as writers. And then next to it, it's telling what the reader is going to do. So when you are writing and you use an exclamation point, that tells your reader to stop and their voice is going to go up. Or if you look down there at a comma. So as a writer, when you use a comma, you are telling your reader to pause, slow down, and take a breath. Punctuation changes your voice. We can sound more excitable or authoritative or empathetic. We can build suspense. And as writers, we can even make readers stop or get them to rush ahead. So I took that excerpt from our book and I put in some punctuation. Now you might be thinking you would use different punctuation marks and that's absolutely okay. This is just an example as a writer of what I, some ideas I have. So now as a reader, there are some road signs in there telling the reader what they're supposed to do. So now it would sound like, this is weird. The punctuation is missing. Uh-oh, where could it be? Yikes, maybe punctuation took a vacation. We are in big trouble now. Punctuation is for the reader. Punctuation helps the reader in understanding the writer's message. The use of punctuation makes it easier to read and understand writing ideas. Marks can completely change the meaning. Depending on where they are placed or if they're used at all, commas, apostrophes, and other marks affect the sentence message. And we can see this here. So now the writer has used punctuation, but not put it in where it makes sense for the reader. So I'm going to read the first part. It says, please come back. We need you. We miss you too. Life at school is difficult without you. So this to me, when I read it and looking at those punctuation marks, it would be as if I was traveling down 50 highway and all of a sudden there was a stop sign and I have to slam on my brakes. That's not safe for us as drivers. And so 
punctuation marks are important. It's important because it's helping the reader tell how their voice should be, and also it helps them understand. So I want you to make sure that as the writer, you know that punctuation is helping the reader. So it's not just for you as a writer, but the punctuation marks are telling the reader where to pause, where to take a breath, where to change their voice. So please remember, without punctuation, your writing isn't as powerful.